Yo, peeps. Peeps. That, that sounded better in my head, to be honest with you. Anyway, thank you for tuning into my mailbox video, the second one. Uh, but before we get started, I want to talk about Titanfall. Titanfall is supposedly having a beta. It's been rumoured, and then we got some information regarding it. A little mistake, hiccup if you want to call it, appeared on Origin above the uh, Titanfall in the store. It said beta is coming. It was promptly removed, leading people to think that the beta is coming, but it was put up by mistake. What we've then found now, though, is that a retailer in Europe might have actually outed the date. Uh, the screenshot that I'm showing you now supposedly claims that the beta for Titanfall will come out on 14th of February and supposedly will end on the 19th of February on PC, Xbox One and Xbox 360. Now take this with a pinch of salt, it's not confirmed by any stretch of the imagination, but Respawn have never denied they're going to have a beta, they've always said we may do, it's not announced, etc. So take it with a pinch of salt, I think it's incoming. In February, which will be amazing because I'm really looking forward to get my hands on this game. Expect lots of gameplay. Anyway, on to today's video. It's a mailbox video. In the background, though, I've got some next car game. This game is awesome. It's a racing game made by the people that do Flat Out 2, but it's like a destruction derby type game. If you're old like I am, you'll probably remember the days of destruction derby. Such an amazing game, and this really, really heralds back to that. You can play in arenas, you can do track races, gravel races, uh, but the physics and the graphics on the game are really, really awesome. Check it out on Steam. It got greenlit on Steam. I think it's about £20 UK, uh, so I'm not sure. That's probably, what, $32 or something? I, my currency conversion is not the best, but check it out. So let's get started. The first question today comes from Syrup on Twitter. And he asks, players having a limited number of times to spawn in, or a time in any vehicle, different depending on game modes. This is quite an interesting question really, now, I am not a big vehicle person. Anyone that knows my channel or knows me will know that I'm an infantry guy, I don't really play vehicles very much, and I know that's weird considering my main game is Battlefield. Considering Battlefield is all about large... Warfare, vehicle combat, and the fact I don't play vehicles very much, I suppose is a little bit strange, but I don't. Um, toward the back end of Battlefield 3, when I wasn't playing 5v5s, I played a lot more vehicles, and I really, really enjoyed it. But this is an interesting question nonetheless. There are times when somebody wants to go in a vehicle. You jump on, and you, you really want to go in a helicopter, you really want to get in that Viper, or you really want to give it a go in that tank, but there's always somebody else in it. And it poses the question, how do you get around that? Or do you even need to get around that? Is it fair to stop people? I think if there was such an option like this to limit the number of times in a vehicle, I think it would have to be a server-side option. I think it's, in theory, it's a good idea. The problem is, do I really want to go on a server? And if I have a tank there, and I've paid for my game, do I really want to be told, no, you can't get in the tank, you've already used it once that's really going to annoy me. I know it's annoying for people not being able to get into tanks, but I think it's a bad idea to start restricting people the amount of times they can use a vehicle, in my opinion. Now, next question is from Syrup again. He asked quite a few questions, but this one was a good one. Removing minimap from the game, normal slash hardcore, would only show up when the commander drones or MAV and tugs are in use. Now this is quite an interesting one because I don't play hardcore, but I'm going to get to a question about hardcore a little bit later. I play normal, but one of the things I always think to a certain extent with normal, I would be quite happy to not have a minimap. I would also be quite happy not to have 3D spotting. I would be quite happy to have like a blend of hardcore and normal. So the damage model of normal but some of the features of hardcore, such as no minimap, no 3D spotting, these sorts of things. I think that could work quite well. Overall, though, I think Battlefield wouldn't be Battlefield without the minimap. It's used a significant amount. I think taking it away from normal overall would probably be a bad idea. I think keeping it there in hardcore for people that want to play that mode and be immersed, then that's fine. But I think taking it away from the masses probably wouldn't go down too well, if I'm honest. 
Next question is from uh, Sentinel Gaming on YouTube via a comment. Which food do you like the most? Now this is a tough question because I, I like food. Um, it's a tough choice for me. It would probably be between Chinese food or KFC. Now I love Chinese food, but I love chicken. KFC chicken and KFC gravy. Well, KFC gravy, I could I could bathe in KFC gravy. That's how good it is. That's not an image you want to imagine, but KFC gravy is amazing. Um, Chinese food. Oh, I would have to go with KFC. I think I'll go with KFC. Next question. This is from T Chara via a YouTube comment. Good day. With the slowing down of the COD franchise, I'm guessing that's franchises, uh, and the issues with Battlefield 4, do you think now would be an ideal time for someone new to come on board in the first person shooter section of the market? And what would you like to see settings and gameplay wise? Well, I think this is already happening. Um, Titanfall. That, that's it. Titanfall is, is an FPS which, to be honest, is very, very similar to Call of Duty in a lot of ways. But it also has enough differences to set it apart. It's not really necessarily competing with Battlefield 4. Although I do think a lot of people will move to Titanfall from Battlefield 4 in terms of a competitive aspect. Casually, people can still play both of them because they give different experiences. But in terms of a new franchise coming on board with new ideas, I think we already have it. Titanfall. Now, the next question is from Zanzo. And this goes back to something I was talking about earlier. Uh, he says, good video, mate. My question is, why not hardcore? Personally, I have been playing only hardcore since Battlefield 3. I just can't do it with the minimap, Doritos, uh, 3D Spot, and I'm guessing he's talking about, and that HUD showing how many bullets you have left, etc. It's nowhere near immersive as playing in hardcore. Sadly, 99% of the YouTubers play on normal mode. I know you're a good player, but just watching a footage, uh, by just watching a footage, so I'd like to uh, hear from you over this topic. Well... I suppose this is going to be quite a controversial answer. I have no problem with getting rid of the ammo counters. I have no problem with getting rid of the minimap. I have no problem with getting rid of 3D spotting. That's not the reason I don't play hardcore. The reason I don't play hardcore is because of the damage model. The way I see this game and Battlefield 3, you die plenty easy enough on normal mode. If I'm using an Ace-23, or, or more to the point, let's say I'm using a Ace-52. If I hit somebody in the head... I do 60 damage, okay, because it's a double shot multiplier, it does like 34 damage. If I hit somebody in the head with two bullets, they're dead. If I hit somebody in the head once and then to the chest, so, you know, they're going to die. I don't think I need to be able to kill anyone any faster. And I, th I find hardcore frustrating because... I see Battlefield 3, if, if you need to, at long distance, control your recoil, you need to tap fire, you need to be able to control your recoil on a moving target, I see it as less skillful if I only have to do that for 60 health, because I could just, I could get lucky so much of the time. I could miss so many of my bullets, but as long as I hit with one of them, I'll kill him. I find normal to be more skillful in the damage mode aspect and that's why I've always played it and that's why I always hate playing hardcore but I agree that the minimap uh, 3d spot and things like that I could quite easily live without and um, probably last question for today we'll probably wrap it up after this one but Hadouken nice video man thanks uh, this is from Shane Rage 2 uh, I have a question for you for your next mailbox episode which is this right now can you please show your settings in Battlefield 4 or make a video where you show your settings as I just can't seem to find the correct settings even though I have a high mid-end PC. Uh, I'm not going to answer this directly now because I am going to make a video on it for you. Um, I'm going to make a video on exactly what settings I use. I also use a config file as well. I use a config file to get uh, my settings just how I want them. So what I'm going to do, especially for you, I'll make a video showing my settings and also how to get the best out of Battlefield 4 if you don't have the best PC. So I'll probably try and get that done next week. Or maybe this week and release it next week. Um, but we'll see how that goes. But I thank you for your question. And I'll wrap it up here then, guys. Uh, I appreciate everyone's questions as always. If your question hasn't been answered this week, 
it will be answered next week. I've already got loads of questions to get onto. But please, write a comment beneath with your questions, and I'll try and get them answered. Add me on Twitter, Hadoukens 3 zs and ask any questions that you want, and I'll try and get them answered. I hope you found this video entertaining. Check out Next Car. The link is uh, in the description below. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.